When I joined the business a little over four years and 11 months ago, I set out a five-year plan that I was going to become a financial business partner within this business within five years. It almost seemed like fate that just 20 days before I've been at the business for five whole years, I have managed to achieve that job as a financial business partner. This video is more specifically going to look at the last role that I've had, what I did within that role that helped me to achieve a promotion. We are just going to go ahead with the first, but probably the most obvious of what I'm going to speak to you today, and that is to deliver on the job. It doesn't matter what job you are in. If you don't deliver on your roles and your responsibilities, then I'm sorry, you can say goodbye to that job promotion and progression through the business. Let's spin this the other way around. Why would a hiring manager hire somebody that isn't demonstrating that they can deliver on the job that they currently have? They're not gonna have the confidence that if you can deliver on a role at that level, you're gonna be able to take a step up into the next level and deliver on that job. So it's important that whatever it is you do, you deliver on it. Because trust me, it will go noticed, and it will go noticed if you do not deliver on your responsibilities. Following on from delivering on the job is to network. This isn't just scheduling a one-on-one, -on -one, having a one-off meeting. This is about regularly catching up with your colleagues, with other employees from other areas of the business. Because this chat, although it is related to work, will make people aware of who you are and it will get your name out there. When it comes to discussions about your next potential career moves, if the other employees in the business don't know who you are, then you won't be recommended for a move. Because when that opportunity comes up, there will be people who have put themselves out there that will come to forefront far quicker. That is something that I made a conscious effort to do. And by people knowing who I am, means that when an opportunity does come up, it puts yourself at the forefront of potentially getting that opportunity. Following on at number three would be to demand expert status. Within the pricing space at my current role, I set myself a goal to become the expert. And often I was referred to as the pricing expert. You only have a certain amount of elements of your role which are fully within your control. Make yourself an expert, possess knowledge and skills on that area that the majority of others do not. And trust me, that will go a heck of a long way when it comes to people understanding your ability and recommending you for future roles. Number four, and probably an obvious one, take on additional responsibilities. Get your name out there, achieve new things through doing more work. Become more skillful by doing work that tests your knowledge in other areas. The more skills and the more knowledge you possess, the more opportunity you have of being the right fit for that next role whenever it does come up. And number five, process improvement. I've touched on this channel already previously that I have absolutely transformed the pricing process at the company that I work for. I reduced the time of that process from two weeks down to four days. I took out time of other stakeholders. I made the accuracy of that process 100%. These process improvements go recognized. It enables people to focus their time and their efforts on other areas of the business, driving double results. Do what you can within your scope of your role to improve on the processes that are currently are already in place and I can assure you you will get some fantastic kudos for doing so. Then last but not least and maybe the one that goes unrecognized sometimes and that is to be a team player. Now I'm going to take right there the card that is on my desk and I'm going to read it to you in front of it says thank you. But I just want to touch on this card. You have been such a supportive member of the team, stepping in a number of times to save the day. Your manager will view your support of your team extremely positively because you're not just putting your priorities first, you're putting 
your priorities of the team first. And the higher you go up through the organization, the more important prioritizing the teams and the business's collective goals becomes. So it's an important behavior that you can utilize and demonstrate, which may even help you to secure your additional role. Now they are my top six things today, which I believe helped me to achieve my five year goal and earn a promotion into the team that I have always wanted to be a part of. But that's all for me today. I look forward to the next one. I'll see you all again soon.